Imagine you're at the store shopping for shampoo. You reach for your favorite brand and you can't pronounce everything on the ingredient list, but it makes your hair smell good so you don't think twice about it. Someone tested that product to make sure it doesn't contain harmful chemicals, right? Unfortunately, wrong. Many people think products are tested for toxic chemicals before they're sold, but for most products, that's not true. Manufacturers can use untested and harmful chemicals in consumer products. In that shampoo you were buying, one way these toxic chemicals may be used is to extend the life of the scent. These chemicals can harm our children's developing brains and our reproductive systems. But it's not just shampoo. Other products bring toxic chemicals into our homes too. They end up in our bodies when we use the products or sometimes we breathe, eat, or drink them after they get into our indoor air and dust. Products in your home made of cloth or fabric, like carpet and upholstered furniture, are sometimes coated with toxic chemicals to make them more stain and water resistant. Exposure to these chemicals is tied to cancer and liver toxicity. These toxic chemicals leave our homes and escape into the environment through our drains, windows, and trash cans. Once they're outside, they can make their way into orcas, salmon, and other species. Products that leak harmful chemicals are one of the largest sources of toxics entering Washington State's environment. Here's the good news. Thanks to a 2019 law, the Departments of Ecology and Health now work together on a program called Safer Products for Washington. Our goal is to reduce harmful chemicals in consumer products. Children, low-income populations, people of color, and workers with certain jobs are more exposed to harmful chemicals. We try to prioritize finding safer options that will protect these disproportionately exposed communities. Thankfully, many safer replacements exist. We do research to find them and figure out if they can be used in the products we're researching. We then decide whether we need to ban certain chemicals in products in order to protect people and the environment. While we're researching, we want to help keep you safer now. Get tips to buy safer products, reduce your exposure to harmful chemicals, and find other actions you can take at ecology.wa.gov slash saferproducts.